friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today is Monday so it is meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you. I mean, really, really good. This is probably one of my favorite meal preps that I've done in a long time. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below. I will link my recipe website at the very top. That is where you will find all of my recipes as well as nutrition coaching for personalized macros and calories, highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's hop on into the kitchen for this amazing meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making a loaded hash brown casserole. We're going to pack in the protein, creaminess and goodness. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need a bag of Southern style diced hash browns. You could probably use shredded hash browns, but the recipe does call for the diced. It calls for two containers of sour cream. I am going to do half sour cream, half non-fat plain Greek yogurt. That is going to lower the points, lower the calories, lower the fat, and still give that creaminess of the recipe. Two cans of low fat cream of chicken soup, center cut bacon. This is the pre-cooked ready to go bacon bacon, light shredded cheese, an onion, garlic, salt, and some pepper. So to make the hash brown casserole, it's actually very, very simple. Everything goes into one bowl. So we're going to add our bag of hash browns. You want the whole 32 ounce bag. I have eight slices of crumbled bacon. I'm going to put three quarters of this in with the hash browns. Go ahead and reserve some to top the casserole. I have one cup of light shredded cheese. Again, I'm going to reserve about a quarter of a cup. Garlic salt, pepper, the diced up onion, two cans of the low fat cream of chicken soup, one full container of sour cream, and then eight ounces of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. And then mix that all together until fully combined. Here is the hash brown mixture that's going into a nine by 13 sprayed baking dish. And then go ahead and just spread that out in the bottom of the baking dish. Then we're going to top it with the cheese that we reserved, as well as the bacon. We're going to put this into a 350 degree oven for about an hour or until it's golden brown. One hour later. The amazing loaded hash browns are out of the oven. The smell so incredibly delicious. Look how good this looks. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros, and serving size here on the screen for you, but this is going to be the perfect breakfast this week. I think I'll pair it with a side of my favorite fruit. For lunch this week, I'm making spinach orzo chicken salad with feta. You can also sub goat cheese. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need a vinegar of your choice. I actually only have this orange dark balsamic vinegar that I bought locally. You can really use any vinegar and any oil of your choice. I have this Italian herb olive oil, honey or maple syrup, Dijon mustard, orzo pasta, roasted red bell peppers in water. You're going to need some fresh basil. Yes, my basil plant is still alive. Really proud of myself for that. Salt and pepper, tomatoes, little cherry or grape tomatoes, baby spinach, chicken of your choice. I'm using the pre-cooked white meat shredded chicken from Sprouts. I'm going to use feta cheese. I am not the biggest goat cheese lover, so I'm going to do feta and some green onion. So I went ahead and cooked one cup of uncooked orzo per package instructions. I did chop up about three cups of baby spinach, chopped up my package of tomatoes, a couple tablespoons of fresh basil, my green onions. I went ahead and did the whole jar of the roasted red peppers. The recipe calls for half a cup. I just did the whole jar, so it's more like a cup. And then I have about a cup and a half of chicken. So first let's put together the salad portion and then we'll make the vinaigrette or the dressing. So I did add my cooked orzo to a large bowl. I'm going to add in my chicken, roasted red peppers, tomatoes, green onion, 
chopped up baby spinach, fresh basil, and two ounces of feta or goat cheese, whatever you're using. And then we're going to mix all of that together. We'll set this aside while we put together the vinaigrette. Now for the vinaigrette for the salad, we're going to do two tablespoons of whatever vinegar you're using. About a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of honey or maple syrup, and a tablespoon of oil. And then lastly, some salt and pepper. And then stir that all together and we'll add it to the salad. And then mix in that vinaigrette really well. This is a cold pasta salad. I will tell you, it smells incredible. I can smell the basil, I can smell that vinaigrette. This is a great way to get in a ton of protein and some really healthy vegetables. And here is the orzo spinach pasta salad. Again, lots of protein, lots of good greens, good vegetables. Now this entire bowl technically makes four servings. I feel like that's a really large portion. So I'm just going to have to see how it goes as I plate this up throughout the week. But I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for four servings. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making blueberry cheesecake cupcakes. I'm super excited for these. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need fresh or frozen blueberries, graham cracker crumbs, sweetener of your choice. This is Lakanto granulated. It's my all time favorite sweetener. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off for you. Sour cream. You'll need some type of jam. The recipe calls for blueberry jam. I'm going to use chia smash. This is a healthier alternative. I'm out of my blueberry, so we're using raspberry. We're just bringing in all the berries. And then you'll need some vanilla extract, eggs, lemons, and cream cheese. So the first thing I did is add my cream cheese to a bowl. I'm going to mix that with my handheld mixer until creamy. I'm going to zest in a full lemon. Then we want about two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then give that another quick mix. Then we're adding in one half of a cup of Lakanto, one cup of sour cream, and then give that a quick mix. And then we're going to add in two eggs, and our vanilla extract. And then one more mix. And then we're stirring in two cups of fresh blueberries. We're going to go ahead and set the filling aside. So I sprayed my cupcake pan with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to add a tablespoon of graham cracker crumbs into the bottom. And then we're going to scoop our filling in and we're getting, we want 12 cheesecakes total. Our cheesecakes are going into a 300 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes. While the cheesecakes are in the oven, I'm going to mix together the blueberries. This is the topping for the cheesecakes. We're gonna mix this together and then I'm just going to toss it in the fridge until the cheesecakes are cooked and cooled. So I have one cup of fresh blueberries. I'm going to add two tablespoons of jam. Again, you can use whatever jam you want. We're going to stir that together. You want those blueberries to be shiny. I'm gonna put some saran wrap on here and again, throw this in the refrigerator. I just pulled the cheesecakes out. You want to make sure the center is still a little bit jiggly and these look 
perfect. They do need to cool at room temperature for one hour. One hour later. So the cheesecake cupcakes are completely cooled. I just pulled the blueberry mixture out of the fridge. I'm going to top each one of the cupcakes with some of the blueberries. And then we're going to sprinkle a tiny bit of graham cracker crumbs on top. And then lastly, we're going to top each one with a lemon slice. And there are the blueberry cheesecake cupcakes. I am so excited to have these all week. Go ahead and put them in your refrigerator until fully cooled, fully set. Then you can put them in a storage container and then keep them in the refrigerator for the week. I will go ahead and put points calories, macros per cupcake here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these recipes as I am. Don't forget they are all on my recipe website, which is linked at the top of the description box for you, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things. And don't forget to come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you over there. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you all in Wednesdays. What I eat today. Bye.